No matter what happens here, it's a win. Our win came from Lancashire County Council in June when we won down there. So today it's either the truth wins after this uh, this farce at Blackpool Football Club or it's over -illed. And trust me, if it's over -illed, that's the worst thing that the government can do. Because that's the end of democracy and every single council will be up in arms against that. So, yeah, it's a win, it's a win situation no matter which way it goes down here. So, I'm happy. Okay. I'm happy. They're not going to frack Blackpool, period. And it's not in the government's hands. It's not like they say they're going to frack Blackpool. It's in our hands. Yeah. So we say no and it's never going to happen. Yeah, and we've come up from uh, the Cotswolds today. Cotswolds? Yeah. The same. There you are. Yeah, got it. <laughs> well, do you do a, say a bit as well, mate? So, yeah, we're basically um, getting involved now because we're going to be the next in the line going down the country, which they're going to try and attempt to destroy the landscape with fracking. And we're taking note of what Lancashire has done and managed to do. And we're here to support Lancashire, support the rest of the country, get as many people involved as possible all over the country in these groups and fight the government because actually, you know, we've already, we've already won. The democracy has spoken and now the government has to listen. Can I make a promise on here while we're on yep, here as well? I'll yep. come down and do a chat for you as well down there as well. So we've been all over the country. Fantastic. From the Isle of Wight to Scotland and Ireland as well. Don't forget Ireland and Wales, a lot of people are missing them out. Yeah. And there's people in Wales have actually stopped it without any help. They've just there's one group that we didn't even know about that I met down in London. Yeah. And uh, 15, 15 of the planning committee, 15 nil they won. 15 nil. And we didn't even know they existed. Fantastic. So it's all over the country. Yeah. campaigning groups, people of all faiths, backgrounds, um, religions. It was absolutely brilliant, amazing, inspiring victory. And we're going to get some experts up, local campaigners, people from across the country, and even some people that have come further than that um, uh, to support the campaign here against uh, fracking. So I'm going to actually ask um, Estelle, who's uh, somebody who's going to be inside um, the building today, um, to just give a bit of an update on what's happening and what she'll be doing um, as part of the team there. So please give a warm welcome to Estelle. Thank you very much indeed. My name is Estelle Dehan. I am the barrister who is representing Friends of the Earth during this inquiry. The reason that I've come to speak to you is to explain exactly what the planning process will be at this inquiry and what Friends of the Earth will be submitting and why. The planning process, as you know, is quite a different process from the campaigning process. We are going to be looking at the planning policy, the development plan for this area in Lancashire and the national planning policy. And our case is that under those two policies, this development should not go ahead. We are, ta we are taking three points, all of which are directly linked to these particular development sites. The first is climate change. And we are saying that the admitted climate change impacts caused by this exploration do not fit with the United Kingdom's obligations under the, climate, the carbon budget and under the Paris Agreement. And for those reasons alone, it cannot go ahead. Yes. Yes. Secondly, we are taking a case on the disposal of waste. You'll all be aware that fracking uses a lot of water and it produces, when the waste comes up, a type of fluid that has to be disposed of very carefully because it has small amounts of radiation in it. There are very few places in the United Kingdom that can deal with that type of waste fluid. And there's a requirement for this particular inspector to be satisfied that these developments can properly dispose of the waste. 
And our evidence is, and this is admitted by Quadrilla, that in order to dispose of the waste from these two um, exploratory developments, they will take 68% of the entire United Kingdom's ability to dispose of that type of waste. <laughs> that is not acceptable. That is not a sustainable way of developing. And what happens if something else comes online that needs to use that waste facility as well? The answer is, we don't know, Quadrilla don't know, and there could be a real problem. And for that reason too, we say no to this development. The third and final point that we are taking is a point on public health. Because we are aware of the disbenefits in terms of health that are caused by these types of developments. In particular, uh, an acknowledged effect from the lighting, especially at night, an acknowledged effect from the noise, although there's a bit of dispute about the level of that, and an acknowledged effect from traffic. So put aside all the disputed areas like groundwater contamination, like seismicity, put that aside and look at just the normal planning considerations, light, noise and traffic. And on those three issues, this development will have public health effects that are not acceptable in terms of planning policy. And for that reason too, we say no to this development. So hopefully on those three issues, we will be able to convince the inspector and then the Secretary of State who will make the final decision that this should not be granted planning permission. But be under no illusion. If the Secretary of State deals wrongly with these issues when it finally gets to him in making his decision, we will be looking carefully at how that is carried out. And if, in our legal judgment, our three issues are not properly taken into account, then this will not be the last time you will hear from Friends of the Earth on the legality of these developments. Thank you very much. Let's give a massive cheer for Estelle and the, everyone in the legal team and planning who are inside today and for the many weeks coming. Yes, it's clear. No to fracking. Not in Lancashire, not in North Yorkshire, not anywhere. I'm going to make three very quick points. The first is that fracking would create serious risks for both people and the environment. Firstly, it's not compatible with tackling climate change. We know that in order to avoid dangerous levels of climate change, 80% of fossil fuels need to stay in the ground. Going for more extreme and risky ways to get more fossil fuels out of the ground is clearly the wrong way to go. Not only that, but we also know that fracking poses serious risks to public health. That was why fracking was banned in New York State. And we also know that fracking poses a serious risk to our drinking water. And we've seen that where fracking has happened, for example, in the United States, drinking water has been contaminated time and time again. And we can't let that happen here, can't let that happen anywhere. No community should be exposed to these risks. Um, and because of these risks that the government's own data has shown, that the more people know about fracking, the more people are opposed to it. And it's also because of these risks that fracking has been halted or banned in many different places around the world, in New York State, France, Bulgaria, the Netherlands, and closer to home in, in Scotland and Wales. Um, and that's why, um, Friends of the Earth are standing shoulder to shoulder with communities here in Lancashire to say no fracking here either. And the second point that um, I wanted to make is that, we, that David Cameron needs to respect uh, local democracy and he needs to respect the fact that Lancashire has clearly said no to fracking. Yay! The only way that fracking could possibly go ahead in Lancashire now is against the wishes of local people and we can't let that happen. David Cameron has to stick to his promise that local people's voices will be heard. David Cameron said, and I quote, local people will not be cut out as ignored. And he also said, these decisions must be made by local authorities according to the proper process. Well, now we have seen that ministers are having secret meetings with the fracking industry in order to, to go all out for fracking. Is that respecting proper process? And we've also seen a leaked letter um, the government of considering taking decisions away from local communities. Is that respecting the voice of these local communities? No! When a pro-fracking minister in Westminster could overturn Lancashire's clear decision to reject fracking, is that respecting local democracy? No! no I don't think so. So that's why we're all here today to defend Lancashire's decision and say it must not be overturned. And Westminster needs to hear us loud and clear. 
the final point I wanted to make is that we all need to carry on obviously fighting fracking together and together we will win. Um, it might be disheartening when again and again we see that government are um, trying to go all out to bulldoze ahead with fracking. But we've shown already that we can stop this happening, we can stop fracking. So that's why, that's why Lancashire said no to fracking in June. Um, and let's be clear that the only reason there has been no fracking in the UK for the last four and a half years is because of all of you. We need to make our voice heard and we need to make it hit heard loud and clear and show that the planning inspector in there needs to listen to the voice of Lancashire and that we're not going away. So please, if you haven't, the, please, if you haven't already, register before the end of tomorrow um, to, go to, the one, to go to the public sessions that are happening in there, um, the first of which is on the 17th of this month. And even if you, don't, if you can't register to speak, go in and just support the communities in there when they're giving their evidence. The other thing you can do is sign up to, our, to keep in touch uh, to our um, keep in touch with Friends of the Earth and we'll keep you updated in the campaign as it, as it develops. And basically you just carry on doing everything that you're doing here today. So we have to, we're, we're going to stop fracking because we have to, we have to protect the people in, in Lancashire and beyond and our environment. Um, and together we can and we will win. Thank you.